Hi, how are you doing? In a previous video, we discussed the various subfields of mechanical engineering offered in various TVS institutions and universities in Kenya. In this video, I want us to move an extra step further by discussing three of the most common subfields of mechanical engineering offered in various TVET institutions. But before we continue, if you have not subscribed to the channel, remember to subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss my future videos. You can also leave me a comment on which past video you'd like me to elaborate or any idea that you'd like me to make videos on. Also, if you know a student who is in high school or a parent or a guardian who has a child in high school, share the link to this video with them so that they can also be able to make informed decisions about the career they want to choose. Now let us check those three subfield of mechanical engineering, which are Diploma in Automotive Engineering, Diploma in Mechanical Engineering, Plant Option, and Diploma in Mechanical Engineering, Production Option. Welcome and let us go through the three courses. We have said we are going to go through Diploma in Mechanical Engineering, Plant Option, Diploma in Automotive Engineering, and Diploma in Mechanical Engineering, Production Option. Here I have the syllabus for Diploma in Mechanical Engineering, Plant Option, as you can see here. The Diploma in Mechanical Engineering Plant Option is designed to provide the trainee with skills, knowledge, and attitudes, and competences that will be necessary to perform and manage tasks in industrial plant and related field. So this course is basically designed so that the graduate of the course can work in industrial plant as maintenance technicians and the course is designed in three modules that is module one two to three just as you have seen in other engineering courses especially the electrical engineering courses that have already gone through the entry requirement are a pass in kenya certificate of secondary education kcsc with a mean grade of c minus although i usually find this entry requirement to have a loophole in that they do not specify the entry grade for physics and mathematics which at times make students who did not do physics and who performed poor in mathematics to end up joining a course that has a lot of physics and mathematics in it and they end up struggling a lot so it is worth taking mathematics and physics seriously if you intend to pursue this course in mechanical engineering so let us see the content of the course and we are going to start from the first year of study, which is module 1. My syllabus here is not very clear because I scanned the copy, but at least we can be able to see. Uh, the first year of study, more that is module 1, is mostly aimed at helping the student gain knowledge on plant shop maintenance. And here, students go through a unit like communication skills, life skills, Information Communication Technology Entrepreneurship, Engineering Maths, Mechanical Science, Electrical and Electronic Principles, Basic Engineering Doing. So far everything is similar to what you see in Electrical Engineering because they also do Communication Skills, Life Skills, Information Communication and Technology, Entrepreneurship, Engineering Mathematics and Mechanical Science and also Electrical and Electronic Principles. Though the electrical and electronics principles for electrical engineering student is a little bit more detailed. Similarly, the mechanical and electrical engineer student they do engineering drawing, and then here we have the materials, technology, and metallurgy. Materials, technology, and metallurgy equips trainees with knowledge and skills on selection, treatment, and application of engineering materials. And mostly here they gain knowledge on various methods of improving properties of metal by heat treatment methods. Workshop technology. Workshop technology equips trainees with necessary knowledge and skills and attitude required to use basic hard tools and machines. That is the workbench, sheet metal work, grinding. They should be able to use grinding machine, power source. They should be able to work with red machines. They should be able to do welding that is oxetrine, gas welding and so on. Plant maintenance equips the trainees with knowledge and skills on maintenance of plant equipment and here they are supposed to gain to have gained knowledge on 
things like working with compressors, air distribution system, firefighting, safety and health in the industry, and so on. Then we got the second year of study, and the second year of study is aimed at equipping the training with knowledge on plant system and surfaces. And here they do units like engineering mathematics, the strength of materials. Strength of materials is a module unit that is designed to equip the student with knowledge on materials and the application in plant machines and equipment. So here mostly they will be dealing with things like stress and strain, shearing force, bedding moments and so on. Then there is a mechanic of machine. Mechanic of machines deal with forces in motion and power machines in motion like horse and motor vehicles. Then we have industrial organization and management. This is a unit that is also common to students doing electrical engineering. We have engineering drawing that is also common to a number of engineering courses. So I won't do much on that. We go to building service and machine installation. Building service and machine installation equips the training with knowledge and skills on installation of various systems of the plant such as water systems, lifts, escalators, various industrial machines, and so on. Then there is plant electrical and instrumentation. This module unit is designed to equip the training on knowledge of uh, electrical machines such as motors, the training on basic knowledge of on electronics, and also transducers and sensors. We move on. There is refrigeration, air conditioning, and ventilation. Then there is business plan which is common to most of the diploma courses and then finally there is industrial attachment for the module 2 of study. We move on to the third year of study, it's module 3. And module 3 is uh, designed to equip the trainees with knowledge to work on electrical generating power plants. Here the trainee will get knowledge on uh, use of uh, computer aided design in designing various industrial components. They also do thermodynamic. Thermodynamics basically deals with the study of heat related motion. And this knowledge is specifically important when it comes to working with boilers either in the industries or boilers in uh, steam generating power plants. And then there is fluid mechanic that deals with the study of behavior of liquid and gases in motion and study of behavior of liquid and gases that are stationary. A unit common to all engineering courses, so I'll not uh, do much on that because I've already made a video for engineering mathematics for mechanical engineering courses. There is power production system, and this is the unit that makes the this year study, the third year study to be called power plant engineering because this unit aims at equipping the trainings with knowledge on working on the power generating plants and here they will gain knowledge on the boiler the boiler mounting and accessory boiler maintenance steam plant the boiler calculation steam distribution piping fuel and so on and then there's plant control and automation which is more of electrical engineering and then finally there is plant control system which is more of electrical engineering because here there will be gaining knowledge on control modeling of uh, various parts of the plant servo system control system they will learn about actuators digital control systems and so on so we are done with the plant option so i'd like us now to go to production this is from my mechanical engineering production option let us lead through this so that we can get to know the objective of the course. Diploma in Mechanical Engineering Production Option course is designed for Kenya Certificate of Secondary School Education graduate to provide trainees with skills, knowledge and attitude that will enable them perform and manage tasks in production and in production engineering and related field. Graduates of this course are expected to work in industries that are producing various goods such as construction materials, tools that are used in the industries or in various setups like farms, construction sites and so on. They can also work in industries that are producing 
machine components, domestic appliances, and so on. So basically, this person who is supposed to be able to design and operate machines that are producing various goods. This course is also divided into three modules, that is from mod module 1 to 3. And it's also supposed to emphasize on practical work in addition to the theoretical knowledge that trainees will gain. So just as we have said, they are, these are people who are supposed to oversee production and marketing of various products. The entry requirement for Diploma in Mechanical Engineering from production option is a pass in Kenya Certificate of Secondary School Education with a mini grade of C-Prain and C-Prain in class of subject that is Mathematics, English and Physics. Let us now go through various years of study and see what each year entails. And I am going to start with Module 1. In the first year of study, Students are expected to gain knowledge on communication skills, trade skills, information communication and technology, entrepreneurship, engineering mathematics, mechanical science, electrical and electronic principles, basic engineering, drawing, and so far you can see all these units are similar to diploma in mechanical engineering, plant option, and they are also similar to what a student who is doing electrical engineering will have gained at this point so far. The difference now comes when we move to the next unit. And this module unit equips the trainee with knowledge and skills on selection, treatment and application of engineering materials. And then there is another unit that is relevant to those who are doing diploma in mechanical engineering production option, which is tools Loom Processes and Technology 1. This unit equips the trainees with knowledge and skills on fundamentals of mechanical engineering for design, production, and use of industrial components. Here they should learn how to use the basic hard tools and machines in order to produce various industrial components. And then there is a structural fabrication Technology 1. Our structural fabrication technology is the design, fabrication, and construction of rigid support members for various applications. Then the score year of study, which we call module 2, the unit are engineering mathematics, strength of materials. This module unit equips the trainees with knowledge of engineering materials and the application in structural and two room processes. Mechanical machine, we have already mentioned that. Industrial organization management, we have mentioned that. Engineering drawing and design, we have mentioned that. And then there is metrology and industrial measurement. Metrology and industrial measurements equips the trainees with knowledge and skills on the importance and proper use of measuring and inspection instruments to facilitate interchange ability of industrial spare parts or so that they can be able to produce the industrial spare parts to the desired specifications. There is materials technology and metallurgy too. Structural fabrication technology too, which is a, an advancement of structural fabrication technology one. There is a two room processes Technology 2, which is also an advancement of the first one. Business plan, which is a unit common to all engineering students. We move on to the third year of study, that is module 3. Just like in Diploma in Mechanical Engineering Plant Option, there is Computer Dead Design or AutoCAD, there is the board Dynamic, there is Fruit Mechanic, and there is Control System and Instrumentation. There is Production Line Process. And for the technology equips the trainees with knowledge and skills required in casting of metallic and plastic components for machine parts and also for tools required in the industry. Then there is engineering mathematics 3 and finally there is trade project. 
we are now done with the diploma in mechanical engineering production option so we are going to look at diploma in, in automotive engineering we first check the entry requirement to the course and the entry requirement is pass in case of exit of secondary education with a mean grade of simplane with a simplane in class of subject that is mathematics english and physical sciences or physics i think this is much better because they have clarified at least the student pursuing this course need to have a mean grade overall and also a grade c in mathematics and physics but for the most of the engineering courses the syllabus have left it open such that people have performed poor in mathematics and they did not do physics they end up finding themselves in the course which as, as i have said previously it really uh, gives them a hard time because they already started the course and there's no option to bail out of the course this course is basically designed to equip the trainees with knowledge on production and maintenance of the motor vehicles and we are going to go through the course so that we can see the various subject or the module unit that the trainees are going to uh, go through in the first year of study that is module one the trainees are supposed to do communication skills life skills information communication and technology entrepreneurship mathematics mechanical science electrical and electronic principles basic engineering doing materials technology and metallurgy workshop technology and all this we have seen they are similar to those which are in diploma in mechanical engineering plant option and then finally the last one is vehicle technology which is the first unit we are seeing it's giving them some knowledge to do with the, the motor vehicles then the second year of study they do business plan mathematics to strength of materials this mechanic of machine we have seen all that already industrial organization management engineering drawing and in the second year of study the only two module unit or subjects that make the course to be unique to automotive engineering is engine vehicle technology and vehicle bodywork that year of study again see everything is almost similar there's computer aided design thermodynamic fluid mechanic control system and instrumentation mathematics three and now the only difference is auto electric and er electronics or simply the motor vehicle electricals and electronics now it's up to you it's a responsibility to put more effort in mathematics sciences that is physics so that you can do the course of your choice remember despite the fact that they are not specifying the entry grade for mathematics in plant option and production option basically the mathematics is the same all these three courses i've done a video on the mathematics for mechanical engineering and you can watch them in the video description below thank you for being with me this far if you have enjoyed the video remember to click the like button and also remember to leave me a comment let us now meet in the next video where we'll be elaborating further on other subfield of mechanical engineering and the various entry levels for someone who wants to pursue a career in mechanical engineering i believe i've not wasted your time in this video and certainly not in the next one